We decided after the crash that we would head down to La Rochelle as quickly as possible as it has one of the biggest marinas in the world and we thought it would be the best place to get Chelsea fixed. We stopped at loads of places on the way but didn't get a lot of footage because we weren't doing much except for sailing and sleeping. This is the channel you follow as you get into La Rochelle. We sailed in between the towers and moored in a small marina in a lock. The lock ensures that the water height doesn't change with the tide so it stays about 4 metres deep, which we need because our draft is 2.2 metres. Why has she got her boots on, Ryan? Oh, because she keeps chewing her feet, so... The red raw. Yeah. Do you like your boots, Poppy? <laughs> Show us how you can walk, then. Come on, then. Come on, then. Come on, then. <laughs> <laughs> We found this amazing bar that had a real mix of different people. Every night there was different music and events going on. Our favourite was the French dancing, which you'll see some of later. It had really nice food stands and the beer wasn't too expensive either. This became one of our favourite places to go during our stay in La Rochelle and we met some incredible friends here too. Letitia and Cyril, if you're watching, thank you so much for telling us all the great places to go and introducing us to your family. Get Ryan's parents came to stay with us for the weekend whilst we were in La Rochelle and we explored a bit more of the town with them. It's a really busy and buzzing place with street performers and random art as well as some shops and hundreds of bars and restaurants. Thank you for coming out to see us, Paula and Matt. We had a lovely weekend, some incredible food and some really good nights out. During our stay in La Rochelle, we met some incredible people who we absolutely loved hanging out with and who have now become our good friends. This is our new friends from France. 
Hello, lady. So we had a bit of a wild night last night um, and unfortunately Ryan's trainer has ended up in, uh, in the sea. So Ryan's going to jump in. There's also loads of rubbish but none of this is ours. It looks like it's ours but it, none of it is. Um, so Ryan's going to jump in the tender and go and get it all and clear up and do his good deed of the day. I feel like Enrique has something to do with my trainer being in the water. <laughs> we met we met loads of um, new friends since we've been in La Rochelle. And um, Ryan thinks that one of them called Enrique has uh, is actually the culprit for this. It's definitely the guy who's got him the name right <laughs> <laughs> So if it is you Enrique, thank you. Because this has made my day. <laughs> We just can't quite find the other one. It's good that they float. One of them does. 50% of them do. 50% of them do. We don't know that. I think we should just go and have a little bit of a row around and see if you can find it. Good luck, Ryan. It's because it's students, isn't it? Students. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one pump retrieved. Don't know. Such a shame, isn't it? Mm. People keep throwing their pumps in the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely not how you're supposed to row. Hello, darkest, my old friend. I think it's time we spoke again. <laughs> Did you find your pump, Ryan? See you later, babe. <laughs> so this was all the plastic and the bottles and cans that I collected from literally just around the boat. After failing at finding the second pump, we gave up and went on a walk instead, and Poppy had a practice at her swimming again. Police have um, got divers in the water. I don't know what they're looking for. That's their van. So, Enrique and Lola have just made us this dinner. And it looks incredible. And he said it was just a quick thing. Hi. <laughs> this is them. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so 
Ryan, where are we going? We are leaving La Rochelle tomorrow morning. Uh, we're going to head out here and then straight across Biscay to Gijon. Uh, I think we're going to get here early hours of the morning. So once we pick up phone signal and we can tell what the weather's doing on this section, we may decide to change course and cut straight across to, how would you say that? Vivero. Vivero. Um, that's the plan. It looks like the weather's going to be good. It's been changing all week, but the last 24 hours have been pretty consistent. So hopefully it'll be alright. So the last few days we've been prepping the boat ready for our big trip. Um, we've had to do loads of things, like general cleaning, um, had to do big shops to get all the food ready and cook it all up and have it prepped so that we don't have to do cooking whilst we're underway. Um, we've also had to change the sail pattern, haven't we? We were quite lucky. Mm. Uh, we went to his sail maker here, uh, asked a few questions about repairs or whether we could get a new one, and they just gave us one for free. Um, he offered to come and fit it and everything, but we said we could do that ourselves. Uh, we'll put the company address up, uh, company name. Yeah, like their business card. And if you're ever in La Rochelle and you need anything repaired to do with sales or fixing or anything made, made <clears throat> they will be, we could recommend them. Yeah, they're really good and really nice. And he spoke perfect English, the guy who we spoke to did. Um, so really useful. So that was really good. We also got the repairs done on the boat here. And the company that done that, we, they were very good, very nice. Couldn't do enough for us. Even offered to drive us to go refill our gas up in, uh, after they finished work. But um, we'll show you the repairs and we'll put the name of them up as well. So if you ever need any repairs and you're in La Rochelle, they're a good, good company to contact. We obviously don't know what the others are like, but... But they were really good. good. So the boat's all repaired. Done all the plan. Well, Ryan's done all the planning. I think we're pretty much ready um, for our trip. It's going to take about 48 hours, so it's quite a big one. Um, I'm really scared. You're not really, are you? No, nah, I'm not scared. I just want to make sure I've took everything into consideration. But I think I think we have. I think we've done everything we can do. We've waited for the weather to be good for us. So that's it. So hopefully it all goes. Well, and we'll see you on the other side. Yes, wish us luck.